Hi, how are you? It's $30.08. Keep watching. Almost forgot, the giveaway for today, when I mail you your pizza bag, there's gonna be a $25 gas card for you in there as well. Leave a comment down below. Send them to the office. Welcome back to Pedro Dora de Santiago. Do you guys hear the rain? Just a little bit. Welcome back. Today's Friday. It's 1020. We're going to work lunch shift, maybe a little bit in the afternoon. We're going to do right along today. I got a challenge for you guys. The vibes will be high today. No strike talk, no gas talk. Let's just have some fun today. My goal is usually $200 a day, but I'm not going to work into the nighttime. So I got a 150 goal today. I'll still be able to be right about my target for the week. How are you guys doing this week? Let's get right into today's video. So today, yesterday I did a pizza. I'm going to do another pizza bag giveaway. I'll be giving away a pizza bag on Sunday. Go to yesterday's video, drop a comment for that giveaway. I got plenty of pizza bags. If you don't know how to get a pizza bag or if you've tried and can't get one, look your local Papa John's, Little Caesars, other pizza joints. If they've got them, all you got to do is ask in some cases and they'll give you a free pizza bag. You got to have a pizza bag. DoorDash right here requires you to take a picture in some markets in mine I've done it in the last few weeks about a month actually and you have to take a picture of your bag after you accept the offer but the offer screen will also show pizza bag requ required so get your pizza bag ever since i've been taking pictures it's probably coincidental i've always done pizza orders and sometimes they're good sometimes they're bad but since i've taken the picture i feel like I, I have gotten more Papa John's orders. Now, some are good, some are bad, but I feel like the algorithm might know I got a bag. I don't know. I'm not saying that's the truth, but that's my experience. And I got five or six bags that I'm going to give a couple away. We're going to give another bag away in today's video. I got to drop a comment that you want a pizza bag. Seems like you guys want them. They're awesome bags. I use my pizza bag for the pizza stuff, but I also use it for all other kind of deliveries because it can fit two to three nice size bags and it fits about four pizza size about four medium or large size pizza boxes you can fit in there they got handles i mean and they're free and i'm going to give one away to you guys as well on sunday and then today we're going to give away a pizza bag so another thing we're going to do today which will be i'm kind of actually interested to see i'm going to test it in my market and many other people's markets the new cash on delivery option for pizza places and the only place I've seen cash on delivery is Papa John's. And I've got several Papa John's around me I do business with. I haven't taken one yet because none of them have looked good enough. I'm going to take one today to show you guys exactly how the cash on delivery works. Okay? The offer screen will look something like this. It's all base pay. You have to collect the money from the customer. You don't know what the subtotal is. You have no idea how much you're collecting until you accept it. I'm going to show you guys that because I haven't accepted one. And I'm going to see, do I get a cash tip? Do I not get a cash tip? How much? Is there an issue with change? I have a little bit of cash on me. I don't have, I have a little bit of change, but I do have some ones and a five and I have one $20 bill. I have a little bit of change that I could make, but my thing is I'm going to let the customer know I don't really have change. We'll see. I'm going to test it out. Many of you guys don't like this option. I don't either. I don't think it's overall safe and doesn't make a lot of sense, but I want to try one out because... I'm going to be a guinea pig for y'all today. Fives will be high today. Let's see if we can do some pizza deliveries. Let's go. And we are off. It is, like I said, it is 1027. So this scenery, you guys will not be seeing this very much longer. We're getting ready to move. So just know that that scenery is going to change. So let's see. Today, uh, here are my stats on DoorDash. Um, my Uber stats have been the same. And I'm at a 96%, whatever. Like the Uber stats don't change. It's kind of weird. Anyways. My contract violation I got in the beginning of last week is gone. Once you do 100 deliveries, they'll fall off, and mine fell off. So, yeah, I guess it took me about a week and a half, I guess, to do 100 deliveries or seven, eight days. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But it's gone. So that's a good thing. I like to see that just go away because you don't want to have one, and maybe you get a second, and you never know because some customers can be a little scammy. So let's see what we get. We're on a $3 peak pay until 11 and then a dollar peak pay until 12 so there's a $2 peak, a $1 peak, $3 peak right now. So let's see what we get. I'm going to position myself in a spot where I should get a good order. And then I'm going to reposition myself by a couple Papa John's. I want to do some pizza deliveries today. And I want to do a cash on delivery. I really, really, really do. Just to show you guys what it looks like, what the app shows you. Um, that way in your market, if you feel safe and you feel like that you could make money doing it, maybe this will incentivize you to do it. I'm not going to be somebody that's going to do it past this one. That's just me. I don't want to have the cash. I don't want to deal with making change. I don't want to 
deliver to somebody. Oh my God, I thought I paid on the app with a credit card. I'm not, I don't want someone to play the games. So let's see what we get. My vibes are high, a little rainy in my St. Louis market. But uh, I'm looking forward to having a great weekend off. I don't work Saturdays. I don't work Sundays. How about y'all? Let me know in the comments. And let's get this video rolling, baby. Almost forgot the giveaway for today. When I mail you your pizza bag, there's going to be a $25 gas card for you in there as well. Leave a comment down below. So smash the like button for you, boy, if you like the content. If you don't like the content, hit the dislike button. I'm good either way. And drop a comment with a pizza emoji or a pizza bag emoji or I want a pizza bag and I'll pick two winners on Sunday. One winner's getting a bag and then the winner from the comments on this video is getting a bag and a gas card. So I'm gonna position myself next to this Panera because I should get a stack offer. And with a $3 peak, you're looking at $10 in base pay from DoorDash. So, I mean, I'm looking for a nice stack order. It might not work, it might work, but I should at least get one and usually a stack. So let's see if I can make that happen. It's 10.31, I'm about two minutes away from being next to that Panera. All right, we sat in parks. No DoorDash action so far, but we did get an Uber Panera. Seven bucks, I believe, for a mile. Absolutely. I will keep DoorDash on because in the second screenshot you see, I see exactly the direction that the mile and whatever's going. So if I get a DoorDash going in a similar direction from Panera, I will take it 100%. Let's go pick this bad boy up. All right, as expected, we did get a Panera offer, but $5.50. You guys gotta remember, my peak, my base pay is 225, $3 peak. There's no tip on that. When there is peak pay, I do not compromise the orders I take. No tip, no trip 2.0. Somebody else can bring you your lunch and it might be cold. Good, how are you? I got Brandy's pickup right there for Uber. Yeah. Just dropped off that and look at this order we got. As expected, $17, five miles, 21 items, Panera. Let's go pick it up, baby. That was perfect. So we made, a, it's 10.47, made a quick seven bucks. And then uh, this is gonna be more than $17. I'm getting $10 from uh, DoorDash. One of these could possibly not have a tip because there's $7 left from the two customers a tip. It is what it is, I'm taking it. Let's go. Peep it, peep it. $164 is one of these. I saw 17, I saw 21 items. I'm like, whoa, what are these gonna be a monster? $164, this is a catering order, y'all. It's gonna be in a couple big bags. I'll show y'all in a minute. This is gonna be a monster order probably. How much you think this order is gonna go up to combined? The other one's $20, I'm keeping it. I'm not even dissecting if there's not a tip on it. I'm taking both of them because Panera blessed me with a monster. I'll do a good deed today, I, I suppose. And I'm hoping there's sick. I'm hoping there's a dollar tip on the other one, but there probably isn't. <laughs> what do y'all think in the comments below? Let's do both of these orders and find out. Ah, they're going to the same place. The customer's name is identical. They probably had to add an order afterwards. That's why there's no tip on it. Fantastic. One pickup, one drop off, monster order, lunch catering. What a great way to start my day. We got a dasher. We got a dasher. Look at that bright red bag. Go get your money, man. Go get your money. All right, we don't need our red bag for this because there's going to be two big bags. I'll show you all in a minute. Let's go. I want to stop the guy see if you want a pizza bag. I got pizza bags on pizza bags. I was going to hand them one, but I'll give them to y'all instead. Okay, let's see what we got here. All right, on their end, they're saying it's $226, so it must be combining them, and then maybe there's some kind of charge I don't see. This is gonna be a banger. A free coffee for waiting? Oh, yeah. 10, 15 minute wait. Offered me a free coffee. I said, sure, I would love free coffee. What a great way to start my day. Roller coaster life, though. You know, at some point, it's the highs and the lows, so you'll have an order later on today that it won't be great, but when you start your day off like this, it's hard not to be in a good mood. All right, definitely more than 10 or 15 minute wait. I was probably closer to 25 minutes, I think, but it don't matter, it's gonna be a banger. Now, sometimes with these catering ones, they give you a sheet. Sometimes on the sheet, it tells you how much the tip's gonna be. Shall we look? Oh, 
I know how much it is. So I've already done the math in my brain. Plus the peak pay, plus the small one. What do y'all think it's gonna be? Put it in the comments down below. Don't worry y'all, we'll get to the pizza action. Y'all know me, I said I was gonna start with my Panera. That's exactly what's happened. Let's drop these off. We'll position ourselves next to a Panera or a P uh, Papa John's or yeah, Papa John's next. See, we can't do a cash on delivery. Show you guys how that works. I want you guys to read that. What do you guys get from that? Sorry, I know that was quick, but it's basically a customer can order off the Panera site, right? Not on DoorDash, this was ordered from the Panera website. And it lets them know, please consider tipping your driver and cafe staff. So there are some Paneras that will split that tip between the staff and the driver. I have not had an experience where that has happened to me at this Panera, but that happens sometimes. And actually, DoorDash has replied to that and said that that's part of the agreement, the, the restaurant can do what they want with the tip, if it's done on their website, not DoorDash's. What do y'all think about that? Put in the comments down below. So for example, if I get here and I only get half of this tip, the other half was given to the cafe staff. How would you feel if that happened to you as a driver? How would you feel if you're a cafe staff and you see a nice tip, you do the work and you don't get any of it? Put your comments down below. There we go. Got the full tip. The other one had a tip. Showed me 17 and went to 37.60. DoorDash hid $20.60 on a, of a hidden tip. Wow. So 37 plus the seven, a little over an hour. Great way to start a Friday. Um, it's crazy though. It's crazy. Anybody's gonna take that 17 for five, right? But a customer tips really well on the app and DoorDash hides the tip. That is a slap in the face to customers, right? Let's go do some pizza deliveries. Okay, so we got an order coming in. We're still on a $3 peak until 12, and then from 12 to two, it's a $2 peak. Let's see what we get. This is how crazy I am. I just turned down that order right there because I, I want to get a pizza order for y'all. Plus, one of those rallies orders would have been trash. I will get a pizza delivery for you guys, momentarily. All right, we're gonna get one soon. I can feel it look hot spot papa john's let's go but look at this order right here things been going off like crazy i've done a few i haven't shown y'all we're at 73 dollars. it's 12 28 <laughs> yeah we're doing good but look at this when you don't tip in the app and you take a tip out you're miserable it's a two dollar peak there's no tip on that you're not getting your lunch if you do it's going to be cold i'm sorry education knowledge is power Con consumers be informed you're not getting your food bro finally got a papa john's but there's no tip on that order. No tip, no trip 2.0. I don't deliver to miserable human beings. Can't do it. We shall sit and wait for a Papa John's. Finally, Pedro from the future. We've been killing it today, but this is the first Papa John's I can take. It's not a cash, but hopefully though, I'm going to get a cash. I got to get a cash. They haven't even sent me one, but I gotta, I'm not going to pass up seven for one point something. And they need drivers. Who needs a job in St. Louis? Let's grab our bag. Been killing it today. I haven't, I, I'm trying just to show y'all some pizza stuff and I'm trying, I'm trying to get a cash one. But the app's just been going off like crazy. Every order's like nine, 10 bucks. We're at $120 and we're at three hours and 10 minutes of work. It's great for me. It's a pretty good day. But we're at Papa John's, okay? Got a pizza bag. I'm on the hunt. I'm gonna deliver this and I'm gonna come right back to this parking lot. I'm not taking any more orders unless they're monsters. So I do want to make money. I need to get a cash point. I want to show you guys I'm committed to that. I'm up against the clock. I'm only going to be out here for another two, two, two or three hours though. I love what I do, y'all. I love what I do. So I went into this spot here. The guy that's working. I didn't film because I'm... Anyway. So he might be. He might see this. I, I, I saw him yesterday at a different Papa John's. I was like, hey man, what's up, man? I got the pizza here. I saw you, you know, you work at all these Papa John's? He goes, yeah. He goes, you know, it was funny. Right after you came in, another Dasher came in, asked for a pizza bag, and said he knew about it because of your channel. I love that. You don't understand how happy that makes me feel. And he gave him a bag. I told him, hey, I'm trying to get a cash on delivery, you know. Uh, um, 
I love it, man. Helping people out here trying to make money, man. I need a cash on delivery, though. Let's go drop this off. Seven bucks for, uh, what is it? One point something miles. Ooh, the first pizza POV. Shout out to my boy Nugs. Oh, yeah. All right, here's another Papa John's. Not a cash on delivery. But look at that. I can't take 450. Peak pay's gone. It's 207. I can't do 450 for eight miles. No. 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 Woo! Woof! <laughs> I guess I used up all my good tokens for the day. <laughs> oh, Lord, 225. Kobe in a trash can. Eat your pizza bag. I'm stalking Papa John's. Papa John, send me a set cash on delivery, please. I'm stalking you. I'm stalking you. Boom. I've never been happy to see a 225 in my life. Got one. Yes, sir. And then they stacked it. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm going to be able to film this for y'all, and then I'm going to end my day. We've had a great day. This is As soon as you accept it, this is what it sh shows. It tells you the subtotal, $30, and I get to keep the cash. It'll come out of my earnings. I haven't read it all, but I know that I'm doing this in real time with y'all. And then it says something about one or five dollar bills. Okay, so I'm assuming it's thirty dollars and some change. I'm hoping to give me thirty-five and I get like a five dollar tip basically, or they hand me two twenties, that'd be fantastic. Two twenty-five. I wonder if the tip is even an option because it is a cash on delivery for the guest. I hit a rain. I'm a little I'm a little amped. Same Papa John, so I'm about to see my boy again. I think I'll film on the low key or ask him if I could, you know, film in here or let him know. Anyways, I think we'll be fine with it. Starting to rain. So we got two orders, $30 and some change. So I'll have a little cash on me. That's a benefit for some drivers you want or need cash. I'm not one of those, um, but $30 will come out of my earnings. That's fine too, money is money. Let's see how this goes. What do you guys think? Put in the comments, I found one. This is the only one I'll ever do. I'm filming it because I wanna show you guys. Is it good, is it bad, is it indifferent? What's the reality behind these? What does it look like, the screens? Doing it for y'all. Um, and the 225 will be into my earnings. We do know that, okay? But obviously they'll take $30 because I'm gonna keep that cash and I'll show you guys that. Let's do this, this is perfect. Perfect timing, it's 2.38 right now. Um, what a great day. And I'm gonna have a little cash. I don't know what I'll do with that. We'll see. Um, I ain't got no jingle though for real. So if he's handing me if he hands me, if he hands me forty dollars and wants the change, uh, he ain't getting the change. I'm telling you that right now. Sorry, man, I don't have change. There's a national shortage. I'll say something funny and cute. Let's go inside. We're rambling. This is this is exciting. Y'all see, I was at the same spot. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm gonna go get this order now. I'm not excited because I'm doing it. It's 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 a pizza delivery. All right, Pedro, calm down. I'm just happy that I I, I woke up today and said I want to do one. I should get at least one offer. And the miles are low, so that's actually fantastic too. So it actually works out okay. If this person doesn't tip, hey, I'll look like a clown on video. It is what it is. I, I, I'm just doing this for y'all, like I said. So let's pull up. Deja vu. We were just here a little while ago. Let's go. I got one, bro. Uh -oh. <laughs> you do that on purpose? A little bit. You, are you able to see my name? Yeah, I am. That's what's up. We're off. I hope I caught that clip. It's the same dude earlier. And you can see, he said... He was able to see my name. So at Papa John's, you can see what dashers are around. He gave me that order on purpose because I told him I was looking for one, and then they stacked it. Listen, I know I'm, I know I'm probably being silly to some of y'all, but listen, I'm, my day is going to be done. I made the video I wanted to make. I did this for y'all. Let's see. Training. If this person don't give me a cash tip for standing in the rain and bringing them pizza, I'm going to clown them. It is what it is. Let's go drop this off. And it had me take pictures of my bag again. I think the first time I was at, the, at this Papa John's, I don't feel like it asked me that when I was there earlier uh, at the $7 order. I don't remember taking a picture, but it asked me to take a picture on both, as you see here, or, or you just saw. So kind of interesting. I have noticed some orders that ask me to take a picture and some orders it doesn't. What about y'all? You guys experiencing the same thing? Some of y'all might have missed the nugget I dropped on y'all a second ago. At least my local Papa John's, they, they can see my name and, send, and decide to send me something or not. Treat your restaurants kindly. It might allow you to make good money. I do a lot of business with that Papa John's. Food for thought. All right, let's go drop off 30 bucks. A little split screen here. That last one had a 40 cent hidden tip on it. 
Um, yeah, so it tells you exactly have changed thirty dollars eight cents. I have. I've got enough change. I think if, if she's got a forty and she wants all her change back, I'll give her a ten dollar bill and I'll eat the eight cent calls. I got a five, two fives, and I got five ones. But hopefully we get a tip. If, if there's no tip on here, I'm just gonna laugh at myself. I'm gonna laugh at her, and I don't know how y'all pizza delivery guys do it. There's no way I could do I could do work for like a Papa John's full time. There's no way I would get too aggravated. Because I, I know me, call me Petty Pedro. There's no way I could do like deliveries in the rain or the snow, go somewhere and you get no tip. There's no way. There's, there's no way. I just had a light bulb moment. This cash on delivery might not be as much about DoorDash as it is these local, these pizza joints. Think about it like this. I want your opinion in the comments. So when a customer orders on the Papa John's website, let's back up. When they order on DoorDash website, Obviously, DoorDash driver is going to have to be used. When they order on Papa John's website, right, they can use their own driver. But these places are, every place is looking for delivery drivers. A lot of places are still short-staffed. A few months ago, if it's a cash-on delivery going through Papa John's and they don't have enough drivers, can they, they can't put that order in on DoorDash, right? Now they can. So while I don't think this is a good idea, and I'm doing it for science, doing being a guinea pig. I understand why it's. I think it's Papa John's in these places, maybe, that are actually benefiting it, benefiting more from it. I don't know. What do y'all think? Just a thought I had. Let's drop this off, and we're gonna wrap this video up. I'll let you know how this goes. We are approaching the cash on delivery customer going through an alley, the infamous St. Louis alleyways. And if you're a driver in St. Louis, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, let's see if we get a tip or not. The, the biggest question of the day, no tip, no trip 2.0. Pedro, the clown of DoorDash, is actually delivering a possible no tip order at 225 is what the offer screen showed. This would be the worst order I would take if there's no tip in the history of orders. All right, so let's get our change out. I got a five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I only have four ones, three ones, but I got two fives, okay? So I'm gonna take this up there with me. If she hands me a 40, or here, let me just take the ones too. Let's see. Okay, let's see, they support the, the police. Let's see if they support drivers. Let's see. Hi, how are you? It's $30.08, or just 30 bucks? Here's 30, well, you can keep the Thank you, there you go. You guys have a good one. Thank you. <laughs> I think I filmed it and recorded, I don't know. I'll have to check later. So, I said oh, it was $31 and eight cents. I said, 31's all I need. I don't know why I said that, it was weird. It was a kid, probably 14 year old, I would say. They handed me, she said, you, here's 31, you can keep the change. Three tens and a $1 bill. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put some split screens of what the app says. There's a button that says issue with cash payment or issue with collecting cash. And there's options like customer short, whatever. I didn't hit any of those, but there's options and then it, tells you you know keep the cash thirty dollars it was base pay 225 um <laughs> keep the change hey she told me to keep the change she's a kid I, i'm not gonna clown her she's a she's a teenager it's not gonna do that uh you know that person might not know how you know it, it is what it is i'm just happy i did it i'm happy she told me to keep the change nice of her it's all good with me uh that's the video for today um, what do y'all think? Would you do these? I don't recommend them. I don't think there's money in them. I think sometimes you'll get tips. I don't know if you're a pizza delivery guy and you work for Papa John's Pizza Hut or if you have before or if you work for Domino's, let me know what your percentage, your ratio is. You know, out of 10 deliveries, how many do you get cash tips? I have no idea. I've never done pizza delivery. Um, but it was interesting. I did it. I got $30, $31 in cash. They'll take it out of my earnings for the week. No biggie. Bet on you, set goals one day at a time. I had fun making this video for y'all. Hope y'all liked it. Hit the thumbs up. Don't forget about the pizza bag giveaway. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my weekend. I hope you guys do the same. See you on the next one.